This week in our DMARC source authentication series, we are focusing on SendGrid. SendGrid is a platform used to automate email for sales, marketing, order fulfillment, and targeted newsletters, and they're one of the major players in the email deliverability software category. SendGrid advises that you implement DMARC and its dependency on SPF and DKIM to authenticate the messages they generate on your behalf. So with that said, I'm going to show you what an email looks like with and without authentication, how to implement it, and lastly, why these steps can improve email deliverability and move you closer to a DMARC policy that eliminates phishing attempts. So first, we'll show you what the recipient sees on an email that SendGrid sends claiming to be from your domain that is not authenticated versus an email that is authenticated. This message shows that it's being sent as support at easydmark.me with an indication it is from another sender with the via indication underlined. Then also the mailed by indicates it is from sendgrid.net and signed by sendgrid.net. Google and other email clients make it a point to alert the recipient that the message didn't originate from the sending domain because it is not authenticated. Google is saying this is sus. Now switching gears in this second example, notice the via banner is gone and the from, mailed by, and the signed by all indicate easydmark.me. So our goal in this video is to show you how to ensure that recipients of emails sent by SendGrid claiming to be from you follow the best practices shown in the second example. We'll start by logging into the SendGrid portal. Go to settings and proceed to the sender authentication tab. Once there on the right hand side, you will see authenticate your domain. Click get started. Here you need to specify your DNS host. In this example, we are using Cloudflare. Below that, you will see the option presented to use your own branded links, meaning instead of showing a from address of sendgrid.net, which we showed you earlier, the recipient sees your domain in the from address. We recommend choosing yes, as this is a best practice. Click next and enter your own domain name. Click next again, and you're presented with multiple CNAME records, which need to be implemented in your DNS. In this example, we are using Cloudflare to establish all of these as a CNAME record. SendGrid provides both the name and the value text that you can simply copy paste. Please note, when using Cloudflare and other DNS administration utilities, they will allow you to set the proxy status. Select this as DNS only. You can then validate all the records have been successfully implemented by going to the lower right of your SendGrid portal and checking the box that states, I've added these records. Click the verify button and hopefully you will see the text, it worked. Remember, if you authenticate SendGrid, you are improving the chances the email they generate on your behalf get to their destination. At the same time, you're one step closer to advancing your DMARC policy to protect your domains from phishing. Feel free to view our other source authentication videos or visit our blog at easydmark.com forward slash blog. Good luck.